Hey, you know what? We have unfinished business with unfinished business. We do. We have unfinished business squared. Unfinished business squared. Too... In fact, we didn't actually start unfinished business. We no, did. That was a uh, tomb of the cat or some shit. Shadow of the cat. Yeah, that temple of the bast, which was a f which was fucking <laughs> hardcore, by the way. Uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna do the screen share now. So Tomb Raider Part Five, uh, DLC Part Two. We'll have to see if it is uh, as difficult as the previous. Expansion. It's not called DLC. It is DLC, but it's not. It's not DLC. It's called an expansion pack. That's what they called it back in the day. Atlantean Stronghold. Here we go. So, uh, yes, we are back in Atlantis for the second pair of expansion levels. Unfinished business. God, it's like walking to the Eye of Sauron. So I wonder what Did, the plot... What, what was the bad guy's name? Natalia? Natalia, yes. The Atlantean, uh... Superminch. Sorry, that, that's Ubermensch, right? Yeah. Why the fuck are we back here? She I, survived. I, we gotta finish the job. We shot her twice! We shot her multiple times! <laughs> oh my god. So... Low on ammo Uzis. The Magnum Clips. And, a sh and five shots from a shotgun. Oh, did we get to keep our, our guns from the previous pair of levels? Yes. Um, however... Uh... Uh. Oh, this is a secret? Okay. Okay. Sure. Shotgun shells. Cool. I might need these. Man. Okay, so... But that's lava. Oh, speaking of which, I'm gonna have to save. I do not want to, uh... Take a long dive into, a uh, Into a pot liquid despite it being rock it's supposed to be okay good all right so i guess i'm going down here then okay what a rock i'm on to your games tomb raider are you still there yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Were you trying to speak for the past few seconds? What the fuck? Yes, I, I, I dropped for a couple of minutes. Uh, okay. I'm guessing it's because I'm not on my usual uh, thing. I don't know if it was you. It mu was probably me. It was probably you? Let me check OBS. Let me see how many... Yeah, I didn't drop any frames. It was you. It was totally you. you wanna... So I've been having uh, quite a slur of uh, technical difficulties of late. Yeah, you, uh, you can, you can begin wherever you want. Begin wherever you want. You told me about all of them. I Or most of them. Uh, well, my my laptop has started to die. The one that... It, it's a cheap laptop. But uh, it's due for replacing because I like do my video editing on it. And it's uh, becoming incapable of doing so. So I've been looking for a new laptop for the past I don't know, month. Yes. I bought two off of Amazon. Which is already telling the fact that I bought two. Shit. Hello, Atlantean. Yes, uh... And they were both advertised as Windows 10, which is why I bought them, and they both came with Windows 11. So yep. I returned both of those. And you uh, told me about this, and I was very sympathetic to your plight, and I'm like, hey, you know who doesn't do any false advertising? This computer shop I know, uh, down, uh... D down in uh, in Soto. It's a Reef PC in the Seattle area. Which right. We apparently don't have any kind of computer sales places in Vancouver or Portland. Oh, before I resorted to you, I also went in person to Best Buy. You know, an hour drive to Portland. They only sell Windows 11 now. That sucks. It's just... It's depreci so, uh, software depreciation. So three attempts, and then you found out about it. You said, you know what? I'll, I'll go to this place. I'll go to RPC, and I'll see what they've got. Yeah, and I showed and you, you some... found something that to me, sounded too good to be true. And to be fair, it was, like, true for everybody except you. It what? had, like, uh, it, it, it had a, like, 256 gig solid state, a, a one terabyte 
hard drive, which I need a lot of storage for video editing. Yeah. You said the me... only thing was it it was also three hundred dollars, a great price for something like that. Yeah, it was very good, like hardware. Uh, on... However, it was old hardware. It was yes. a pretty old piece. It was a pretty old laptop. Also huge. It was a monster. Oh yeah, I love big laptops like that though. That old school. Uh... Give me a second. This guy is. Uh... He's existing in my presence. He's gonna try to kill me. Like I, I just. I'm just, uh, I'm just... You don't know that. This majestic... Look how passive he's being. He's not gonna hurt me, but... Dead. You monster. I, I am, yes. Oh, there's another one. You can finish it. Continue your story. So you... You got, you got this laptop for me, and you mailed it to me, which yeah. is heavy, so that's immediately expensive. But uh, as soon as it gets to me... I do the usual, I do, I do like the Windows reset, and, uh, because I don't want the user profile to be, you know, registered user, or whatever the default that they had set up was. And, uh, it immediately starts blue screening. Yeah, and I was, like, like, confused, I'm like, oh man, that sucks. And I, you know what I thought? I thought that, that the UPS trip, like, damaged it in some way. I tried many steps of troubleshooting, I tried all <laughs> sorts of, uh, advanced technical stuff. And, uh, just same result every time. And so, I finally gave up after, like, a week of solid trying shit. You tried everything. You, you... I sent it back to you. Yeah. And, uh... And I sent it to RePC, and I'm like, okay, look, my friend's saying that this is, this stuff is, like, messing up with it. And then they, te they check it, they check it out, and it works fine. It worked, it worked completely fine. Apparently it was only a problem for me. And you know what I thought, right? I thought that, like, that the sent sending it over there, it damaged it, and then sending it back, like, like fixed everything. It it did it, which would have been funny as hell. But apparently, they like people at RePC, they're very nice people. They looked it up, and apparently, there's a thing that happens, and the fix is just to keep trying until it like until it stops doing that. <laughs> Yeah, their conclusion, as they found by some people on Reddit, was that if you just reset Windows a few times, it will magically work. You know, computers be so like that sometimes. Apparently, the number of times I reset it was exactly one short of it working. Not like you were gonna, not like you were gonna trust the damn thing anyway. It's already proven no. to be a problem, child. Yeah, no. Even if I got it working, I would know then that like, a two weeks later, it would blue screen or some shit. Yeah. So in all honesty, it was a good, it was a, it was a reasonable call to, for you to have made. Oh, that was a great jump. I love that. So, uh, my current plan is to wait for, uh, wait for Black Friday, see if I can get a good deal on a laptop then. Two months away. Also, completely unrelated, yesterday morning, my phone SIM card decided to randomly stop working. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, my first response was, to, I, I use Boost Mobile because they're oh very cheap and affordable. This story is still gonna infuriate me, go on. Uh, I went to the, obviously, my because the phone doesn't work, I can't make calls or texts or anything, I went to their website and I did the, like, the chat support, and, uh, they basically said that they couldn't do anything because of some, like, division between Boost, Boost Mobile. Like, we're the wrong division, we can't do anything here. So... Today, I went to a physical store location, which is, you know, 30, 40 minute drive to Vancouver. They said, we can't do anything. The only way that you can address this is by calling this specific, like, division of Boost Mobile. And the problem being that I need to call them on my non-functioning phone. Oh, shit. Oh, so Boulder? That was pure instinct. I, I have no idea how I managed to evade that properly. Yeah, yeah so, so oh, that's I have that's to story. spend tomorrow borrowing someone's phone to try to call them to get this addressed. Shit, you, you want to just use my phone? You want to just like, you know what you could do, right? We just want to like call on dis. Were you gonna hold your phone up to the Discord like speaker? Yeah, I'll I'll, put, I'll hold the phone up to the Discord speaker so that and like on speaker. So that it, it goes through the mic, and then I'll hold the my headphones up to like the uh, to the uh, like receiver, so that you can like 
hear it. You know what? I'm not ready to resort to that yet, but I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> what are friends for? And when we do, I'll just like, I'll get really close to my mic and like peek and make the audio quality as terrible as possible. <laughs> just to spite them. Uh, who's that guy laughing in the background? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so I've been... So it seems like this... My phone has stopped working. Can you please fix my phone? <laughs> By the way, uh, that, that brought up, you use uh, Boost Mobile, um, <laughs> and you didn't know about their, like, early ads. <laughs> when you say early, you mean, like, MTV early 2000s early. Yes, oh god, MTV ads were either really hilarious or really obnoxious. Those were the ones where they would occasionally, like, just do, like, audio, like, like, just, just, like, audio abuse. Like, uh, with, uh, with, like, hey, get these ringtones! Get these fucking ringtones! We got all these fucking ringtones! You like ringtones here? Text, text 5655 to get the ringtone for fucking Laffy Daffy! Have you get the seen, Crazy uh, Frog ringtone! Have you seen Vinny and Joel watching those old, like, ringtone commercial ads recently? No! You gotta send me that. That sounds hilarious. God, these... There's one that kind of took off of, uh, it was in Swedish, and it was just a giant a ass dancing around, shouting, CRAZY BUTT RINGTONE! <laughs> that's not, something along those that lines sounds like in a, Swedish. That sounds like a parody. I feel like I... These, these levels, I feel like I don't belong here, if that makes any sense. Why is there meat webbing? It's Atlantis. Their whole aesthetic is biopunk. You know what? At least they're giving me health. I need it. If they're gonna send me, like, all these, like, creatures to just try and kill me. That was the whole thing with the last DLC. It was just a mountain of cats. Yeah. Cats and mummies. Now it's just... It's just like... This is like the other game, except just, like, combat mode. So I'm saving my pistol ammo. Or why I'm saving my, like, uh, Uzi and shotgun ammo. Because I know there's going to be something that's going to make it, like, really more difficult, and I don't... If it gets to be really ridiculous, I'll do the I'll do the weapons cheat. Okay, not there. Uh, one good thing came out of today. Oh, I yeah? stopped at uh, Burger King on the way back home just to uh, use a coupon, get, like, dollar fries. And uh, I met one of the, my former preschool parents working there. Oh, that's cute. For the bus I drove. He just gave me a bunch of free food. Wait, that's intended? You intended for me to take that, like, to take that fucking drop? God, that's, that's rough. Thanks, Did game. Did you land on the webbing? No, I, it, the, the way forward was just to take a, a big-ass fucking drop. Did you take damage from it? Oh, yeah, I took, I took a lot of damage. Alright, there's probably, oh, hey, more, more Maybe you wouldn't have had you landed on the webbing. Maybe not. Well, no, I, I had no choice. I... What? Oh! <laughs> Why is there a green... There's like a, a, a green alpha resource. That's the eggs that they hatched the Atlanteans from. Oh, they were just green spheres? They are now. I don't think they were in the base game. I think Maybe they lost the texture and they had to like... Do a compromise. So does now does do the Atlanteans? We could, green screen, we could that? green screen that shit. We could put anything we want on that ball. Oh, I have Sauron. What what could we put on there? Why why the fuck did? Uh, I'm I, gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and guess because the hole dropped directly onto the webbing that the webbing cushions falls, but I don't know that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it does. Okay, wait. What did that do? I grabbed all the shotgun. Why are you showing me that? Why am I even back here? This was a bad idea, Laura. We need cutscenes to explain what's going on. What? We don't have any. Oh well. Do you, is there any like lore for uh, for unfinished business? That you can find? Uh huh. If you can find some. Let me just uh, load up oh. this webpage on my barely running laptop. 
They look arrows. Sure are arrows. Wow, they're slow. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, it's the, uh... What? Oh, shit! I, I ambush... You, I'm an acrobatic, like, attack assault machine. Oh, you want some too? Huh? What's the point of this room? There's no way. Okay, so this takes place immediately following the end of the of the regular game. Immediately. So she's it, on the speedboat and she's like, from fuck. her sliding down that tunnel that the game ended with. Oh, so, but oh wait, but she got on a boat. So this is her, this is escape part two. This is how she got to the boat. <laughs> Gotta get to the boat. How did she, of all the things I was wondering about the last game, how did she get to the boat was not one of them, surprisingly enough. <laughs> According to the wiki, in these two adventures, Lara returns to Egypt to discover the secret of the cat and returns to Atlantis to destroy the remainder of Natla's Atlantean mutants. Okay, so she did... So she was, okay. See, that's a contradiction, though. <laughs> if she returns, that implies that she left. <laughs> okay, you know what? She's, like, on the boat, and she's like, did I really get rid of all of them? She takes the boat, and she goes back to the exploded island. She's like... Looks like I have some unfinished business. Well, um... I got all four of them, which should mean that... Yeah, okay, uh... That fucking dude who just came down at, like, like he was fucking magic after I grabbed that shotgun ammo. Holy shit. Hey, the other egg hatched. Okay, so there's only one way out, but it leads to a room which has fuck all in it except for... Okay, wait. Wait, is that... Okay. So this is the only way I should go. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay. I thought you dropped again. Segwaying only from the dumb accent I just did. I learned something recently. Oh, yeah? Apparently, Gordon Ramsay is Scottish. Y you just re learned that recently? Yeah. I... I mean... As he's he's mostly known for working in, in like Britain, right? So Oh. Maybe he grew Wait. up in Britain. Okay, what? Zelrog. Scotland is a part of Britain. It's part of the UK. Y yeah. Okay, okay, never mind. It, it's more of a surprise because he doesn't sound Scottish. He he sounds like he has a British accent. I always assumed he was Scottish because I, I could because his accent was just I can spot a, a Scottish accent a mile away. Wait, hold on. Oh, fuck. You wanted me to do this in a tight corridor? Fuck you! Okay, yeah. I don't know why I always thought he was Scottish then. I Maybe I just heard it and I just internalized it. What the fuck? Okay, I guess he's dead. Are, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Gordon Ramsay... Yeah, I, I, I guess it's not common knowledge. Maybe it is. I don't know. Oh. Uh. Maybe they're friendly. Maybe they won't move. Don't. So what's the so what's the so what's the plot of Shadow of the Cat then? She just goes there to find the secrets of the cat, and then that's just like it. any other Laura Croft expedition. Hey, I was here. I was here to grab like a Skyon, but this temple seemed interesting. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna guess There's that- There's a treasure here, I want it. I'm going to get all the treasure. Every single one of it. I'm a treasure hungry lady. Wasn't there a there was a Lara Croft parody in Jackie Chan Adventures. She was like a kind of, kind of mean, rough and tumble British lady. Yeah. You remember her? I think so. What was her name? It wasn't a, it wasn't a flattering parody, but it, it no. existed. Okay, so there's- Four, five switches. Oh no! 
Wait, is there a six to one? start guessing. No, there's five switches. Okay. I'm gonna save. In case things go really bad. Uh, so... God. Jackie Chan is very nice. He just, he's like, if he finds something, he's gonna try to do martial arts, but he doesn't want to, like, defeat anything. What did that do? Oh, that resurrected something. Jackie Chan, uh, Steven Universe, and uh, Deku all meet up, and they apologize each other into submission. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You know, you know that uh, Deku would be the one the most that would be the most like tearful about it. Okay, this guy, this yes. guy has this guy has shitty pathfinding. I'll just use that to my advantage. This guy. <laughs> Oh, wow. They're not even exploding properly anymore. They just kind of just, like, disappear. Okay, so that wasn't the switch. Maybe it's this switch. There's some Zelda shit. Okay, that opened that. I don't oh, know what that... switch and a Floor Master appears. Oh, gosh. Okay, so that opens that switch. And so the other two will uh, trigger the other two things. Well, there's goodies that there. That actually so be kind of interesting. Them is a Laura Croft in a Zelda game. Yeah, I mentioned that. I mentioned, you know what would be great is if as if somebody were to uh, find a way to... Uh... Oh shit, his bad fighting's better! <laughs> Jumping around, grabbing ledges, pulling out pistols on Floor Masters. Um... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that was... That was skill. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh man. What would be the best, like, god, the one that would be the most aggravating would be if somebody were to adapt Great Deku Tree to, uh, to be Lord Croft Dungeon. I guess. I was thinking, just... like, the Spirit Temple she'd fit in. Oh, Spirit Temple would be great. Spirit, Spirit and Shadow Temple? I'd say Shadow Temple as well. Okay, did I get all of them? Okay, one more. So since the previous stream of this, there has been announced a, a, a Tomb Raider Netflix anime. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I don't care because it's the 2013 one, and I and the 2013 incarnation is my least favorite incarnation. I'm sorry to people who like it. I don't. I really, I really don't. It looked at least visually inoffensive. Yeah, visually it looks fine. Um, the problem is that... Is that and somebody put it uh, succinctly another time that um, the 2013 Lara Croft feels less like a explorer and more like a scared teenage girl, and it's like so the other M syndrome. Yeah, where what was that one? Did she? Oh wait, there's a there's another switch down here. Uh, oh no! M was the that was the backstory of Metroid when Samus was like a new recruit or something. Yeah, and, she... and all of her actions in game were dictated by her her commander allowing her to do them or not yeah that was uh odd I, ne I i never played on other m it was a game mechanic but it definitely it, it made the character feel way less like you know it was it, the female empowerment thing was just gone yeah because she's because she's uh having to do stuff at the uh at like the like uh authorization of her uh of her like of a man it's just like... To what I understand is an almost comical degree. Oh like, yeah. Like she has she has to go through a room tanking damage because the commanding officer won't let her wear like a, a damage proof suit or some shit. Yeah. Uh, I have been told there are situations like that in the game. It makes no sense. It was also th also the director was trying to retcon Metroid Prime, and that's already not going to get you any kind of like brownie points. That's already going to put you on, like, a lot of gamer shit lists. People are wanting the uh, Metroid Prime 2 remake. After the 1. God. Echoes, Echoes uh, was very interesting for, like, a Metroid. Did I kill him? Nope, you're still alive. Okay, but real Metroid Prime fans played Metroid Prime Pinball. I, I, man, pinball games are underrated. Uh, I think that was the same studio that made Pokemon Pinball. Yeah, you get them to do one, and, and then... That's all lava. You guys good on lava? You guys good on lava? Yeah, I'm not going down that way. 
But can you make the lava run up the walls? Don't see why not. Okay, I guess I am going that way. What do you want me to do, game? That's lava! I can't walk on lava, that's a death sense. Oh, hey. Who's the ammo? A uh, new character still getting announced for the sequel to the Nick game. Oh, the much better looking sequel. Yeah, the much better looking and, much, and seemingly much better playing one, hopefully. Yeah, Angry Beavers were announced and they're a stance fighter. Oh! I remember it. Oh, cool. Angry Beavers, I remember that show. That show, I didn't watch a whole lot of it, but it seemed like it was, it was, uh, it was kind of good. What it kind of seemed like quintessential Nick. Yeah. Uh, Gerald from Hey Arnold. <laughs> okay. Who is, like, I watched the entire series recently, and Gerald does, like, fuck all during the entirety of it. He's a very boring character. I feel like it's a representation choice, but at the same time, I can't really think of any other, like, more fitting black Nickelodeon characters, which is uh, kind of sad. That's a problem. That's just a, that's a problem with Nick. Not a problem with uh, the devs. I, I didn't suggest it was, okay? I know, I know. I'm just saying that Nick sucks shit, okay? I've... That, that's also a very bold claim to make based on very little information, but okay. I have more information. Okay, uh, let me say, Nick Nick sucks shit because uh, because they don't treat their child actors well enough. Yeah. And I and and there are people who have had worked at Nick who have talked length about, man, that Dan Schneider, he really sucks shit. And I, he, knowing what I know about Dan Schneider, yeah, I agree, he does suck shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Uh, any other characters announced for Nick? Uh, I, I posted the Ren and Stimpy, like, rework. Yeah. Those are the only ones I've seen. They want me to... I'm gonna try it. Nope. No, I can't, I can't even do that. They wouldn't want you to land on that little piece of, like, wire, would they? I'm gonna try something. Okay, not- not that way. I'm gonna grab onto. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do a bit more exploring. Fucking death floors. Did I fuck up a trigger somehow? Am I not supposed to be here yet? Literally no what? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing now. Wait. Oh no, that's just a trick of the... Uh... I'm gonna look around some more. Maybe I just missed something. No, I didn't just miss something. Wait! Okay, no, that's that leads back down there. I have to end. And I can't jump here because not only is there lava, there's lava that's just, that's like tall. There's tall lava. So that has no collision, those wires. I don't think so, no. Let's see. You just yep, walked through no this one, that's yeah, what I'm no, saying. No collision, wait. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I haven't been paying full attention, but this this doesn't seem like the way to go at the moment. <laughs> maybe, maybe that is. You think I can, dude? You think no? That's, no, no. I you can't. You you know what I'm trying to what I'm thinking about. Wait. Oh, there's literally nothing over here. We're not. There's just nothing over here yet. Okay. I'm overthinking things. So why is so is this path just a dead end? Is this just, just a red herring? What's the point of this path. Whatever. Going back down. Multiverse is still scheduled, supposedly. Yeah. For a 2024 release. That, that's gonna unquote. that's gonna be DOA. What DOA? Dead on arrival. Oh yeah. What? That's kind of their only hope for reviving the game is to have like a big release. But uh, apparently, I was not the only one who was uh, disappointed 
with like the gameplay yeah the gameplay i wanted to like it and then and then it didn't it wasn't it didn't just come it didn't come together which is a shame because because i thought if they can if they take that feedback and, re and rework it before launch into something better i'd, I'd give it another chance yeah are like there they, any uh oh, go on they, they they should do what nick uh, with the dev team for nick 2 is doing and just make it more like smash brothers i was gonna say are there uh are there any like adult swim characters you would want in a platform fighter like multiverses uh anything explosion yeah uh like really obvious ones would rick and morty's obviously already in there uh oh. venture brothers and like oh, okay. this is new venture brothers yeah those are probably the most like well-known adult swim properties is those three uh this... other aqua teen obviously the warden from super jail Brack. if only two if only toonami stuff was allowed who says it's not yeah tom mm. from toonami no, 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 Put no, no, no. Multiverses. no, all the, all the anime things that were on Toonami at one point. I'll kill this guy. This, this guy will die eventually. Supposedly, I think I mentioned this during our Multiverses stream, Warner does own the rights to Big O. Oh. <laughs> I'd put that on my top, uh, my topper, my top cover list. He's just, he's an echo fighter for Batman, except he's also a stance fighter and also an echo fighter of Iron Giant. You can just switch between the two. <laughs> That'd be broken. That would be like... Okay, what? This... This is non... This feels non-Euclidean. This level. Um... God. Yeah, uh... They go, that'd I, be a cool, uh... That'd be a cool game. A cool level editor where you can just make non-Euclidean non shit. I think you can in, like, some games. Like, uh... Antichamber? You're, you can do that. And I didn't then, know there uh, was like custom user levels in that. An antichamber? Or wait, or am I think? Yeah, antichamber. Antichamber is not non Euclidean as hell. What's the point of this? <laughs> it's just a dead end of lava. You have a big ass. This is the second dead end. What the fuck? I can't wait for there to turn out to be, like, a way to cool all the lava in the level, and then we have to revisit all of these dead ends. Wait. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> Gotta run! Well, what's happening? There was a lava flow up there! Is it following That's me? That Sonic Adventure level where the lava just started rising out of nowhere. Okay, I think, I think it stopped following me. Is there another fucking like Minotaur down there? I don't want to deal with that yet. Wait, what? Okay. It was just a fake out? Fuck you, game. Well, it's a good thing all this glowing red stone is safe to touch. Yeah, it's... it's paint. The Atlanteans, you know, they had a sense of humor. <laughs> Nat, Natla actually enjoys, like, stand-up comedy. What were we talking about? Sorry, I didn't mean to have my... Oh, shit! Okay, sorry. I forgot to... <laughs> what were we, we were talking about multiverses, right? Uh, adult swim characters and multiverses. Hey. I want to see Brack. I miss Brack. Yeah, they don't... Like, Worm Street doesn't like Brack, though. Oh, God, that's fucking shitty-ass. Like, uh... Yeah, William Street, they made it perfectly clear that they viewed... The Brack show as as a big mistake, I think during a bumper. Did? Yeah, the bumper was like, we're not bringing Brack back the Brack show. You, you realize that like their bumpers are essentially shit posts, right? Okay. Well, why? Okay, yeah. All right. If they like it so much, why don't they 
ever like re have reruns of it of it. Mm. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Shit. Okay, that was that could have been really bad. Uh. Well, there's progress being made. I think. Uh. Yeah, Tom. What would Tom do? What am I doing? Okay, I gotta go on the other side, probably. I'm gonna oh. look up what is probably a very common search by this point. Okay, what's the common Properties search? Properties owned by Warner. Lord of the... Gandalf and, and, and uh, Arya. It sucks because I liked Arya's design in the multiverses and how she played, like, from... Do you think they're gonna change the soundtrack? Um, they better. It sounds kind. Of, it, it's just <laughs> generic orchestra. Yo, Warner owns the Oprah Winfrey Network. Oprah for multiverses. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? More people would tolerate her than like Ellen DeGeneres. Okay, I got tagged by an arrow. Okay, uh. Definitely could use less superheroes. That game. Warner owns like a lot of superheroes though. Good luck with that. They own DC. Well, if other people have a problem with them, if they're like, hey, this is too much, this is like no more Fire Emblem characters, no more DC heroes. Why okay that's Maybe they'll care. Creative versus game, Fire Emblem versus DC heroes. <laughs> <laughs> You've played Super Smash Brothers. Get ready for Super Fire Emblem Brothers. All Fire Emblem, nothing else. God, there's alligators here. What the fuck is Cartoon Network Extreme? Oh, that's their attempt at a platform fighter. I don't think it was very good. More people aren't talking about it. No. No, it's what not that. You're thinking of Punch Time Explosion. Yeah, you're right. What, okay, what is Cartoon Network Cartoon Extreme? Cartoon Network Extreme was a short-lived British television channel operated by Turner in the UK and Ireland. What do they show? What was their, uh... Primarily male audience, uh, older teens. The channel was advertised with a promo featuring the character Brack from The Brack Show, singing <laughs> C is for comedy. <laughs> They're almost showing Aku from Samurai Jack. Th those were their, like, header characters. Aku and, and, uh, and Brack. What, what a fucking duo. <laughs> what? Okay, Aku would be the main bad and, and Brack would be the henchman. <laughs> hey boss, what you want me to do? You want, you want me to kill that Samurai Jack for ya? That's like some, that's like a Venture Brothers team up. <laughs> What character would you want from the Venture Brothers? Brock is the easy one. Brock's the easy one, the most interesting. He's kind of overrepped. Uh, Dr. Orpheus. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's... Orpheus yeah. number one, I would take the Monarch. The mo Yeah, those two. The Monarch and then Dr. Orpheus. <laughs> one of his moves, it's a command grab. He grabs the opponent's face and goes, SLEEP! <laughs> oh. Hey! Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Shit, I th that aim was precious. I'm in a tactically advan advantageous position. I don't want to waste my, my uh, Uzi ammo. But I could just be flipping instead. Why do they, they... They growl like dogs. I think, uh... Yeah, I think Garfield was shown for the new... The Nick Fighter 2... Yeah, that's that's obvious choice, though. He better be. I still think it's kind of weird that he was in any of them because I don't think of Garfield as a Nick property. Garfield just shows up. Garfield is the kind of character that could just show up wherever. I can't wait for him to also be in multiverses because they made the live-action Garfield movie or some shit. Just, yeah, he's he's the ultimate freelancer. And you know what? You can play as him, but not on Mondays. Garfield, Garfield. I think that was a thing. Oh yeah. I you think can't... you actually couldn't play him on Mondays in in the first game. God. The first game needed to be better than it was because that's the kind of attention to detail I really like. 
That means that you, uh, can't, that you can't hold multiverse tournaments on Mondays. The only thing that I know about uh, New Garfield is that I think he has a counter, and the counter is him just going into his, like, that, that comic of him smoking the pipe. That's just it. He becomes that, and that's a counter. Now, where could my pipe... Wait, that's not... He's smoking a pipe. That's not, like, fucking... Like... It sounds like it makes no sense. No, it... it uh, that's, I'm just saying that that's not kid-friendly, because pipe. Okay. okay, it's a bubble pipe. Yeah, okay, there you go. Th thank you for making it make sense. I'm Garfield. I just I can't do wait whatever for I want! I can't wait for one of his moves to reference Lasagna Cat. Oh, to reference Lasagna. <laughs> Which, uh, which one? The, the, He's gonna have a victory animation, and it's gonna be John, and it'll say, John Arbuckle, two. John Arbuckle, zero. God, did you watch that entire thing? The, the sex? I watched the, uh, the documentary of what the internet did to Garfield. Oh, the Super Eye Patch Wolf one? Yeah, that was a yeah. great, that's a, that was a great doc. I love that doc. <laughs> I gotta go back up there? No! Fuck you, game! Okay, what happens if I pull this switch then? Uh-oh! <laughs> I better run! So did you... You had this as a kid. This expansion? No, I didn't. I never played this game. As a kid. Okay. Oh, you never played Tomb Raider 1 at all? I played Tomb Raider 1. I haven't played this expansion. I didn't own Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Gold. Which means I got the version with without the, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, I'm trapped here. Fuck. You only have one hope left. Terrible pathfinding. Oh, no, they can shoot. Shit. Wait, they have... What are they shooting? They're shooting, man! Okay, one down. Four left. Are they firing key blasts? They're firing ancient Atlantean needle tech. The same kind of tech they used uh, in Quake with the with the uh, nailer gun. Oh my god, you fucks! Oh shit, we can get the Phantom for multiverses. <gasps> Phantom of the Opera. I don't know if them making the movie has anything to do with that. I'd be down, though. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna swim down here. I'm just, just kind of cool off for a sec. I don't want to fight them again. So if you, uh, if you haven't been following the Discord, Darian watched Phantom for the first time recently. And he liked, he liked it. it. Good. Good. It's a good. Uh, it's a good film. It made me cry. It was like, it made me cry in a good way, not in a bad way, like fucking uh, other things we've watched. What was I thinking of? Um. Oh, uh, uh, Stone Ocean. That made me cry in a bad way. Yeah. Haven't gotten to that yet, but uh, suffice it to Jay ja say Jack was not a fan of how they ended part six of JoJo. Yeah. That's all it needs to be said. Will Steel Ball Run end that way? Will they ever make a Steel Ball Run adaptation? I don't know. Okay, I guess we're not gonna... This fucking Rubik's Cube, like... Wow, Tomb Raider, without nostalgia, is just suffering. <laughs> Being a Tomb Raider is suffering. Fuck off. It's- it's the fact that they- that they put, like, 50 fucking enemies in this expansion. Like, they didn't do that in the other ones, it was mostly just chill jumping, and now you're here, and it's like, ah, fuck you, you're gonna have to fight. Yo, stop every three minutes, just unload all your ammo. Okay, you know what, I'm... If, if I encounter, like, one more trap room where they send 50 enemies my way, I'm gonna do something about it. Oh, she can't choose. Ch choose! Is this one gonna, oh, is gonna enable the fucking alligator trap? Oh, nope, okay, that one's... What does this one do? 
That one opens up that one. Do you think each of what? the individual... Sorry, uh, go on. Do you think each of the Tomb Raider games are as different as each of the first three Crash games? Um... Uh, by what? By what you mean that they're not really that different? I guess, I guess the measure of how different you think them to be. Um... You know what? Yeah, I'd say I'd say it about that. They're pretty. Oh, am I in this fucking hallway again? No. Because I think the Crash and Spyro games are each different enough. Uh. Even though they all clearly build on the same graphics. Actually, I think there's more. They're slightly more similar than. What's the point of this room? Okay. Walk. Walk. Yeah. Um. So, Tomb Raider 1, this is the, let's just consider Tomb Raider 1 like the game that they build them off of. 2, yeah. um, introduces different mechanics, and uh, they kind of change up like like level design, and uh, it's not too different from, it's not, it's, I assume all three are similar. still grid -based. Number 3 is the one where they did the most, yup, okay. When did I last save? Okay, good. Uh, all right. I think I know what I need to do then. Only got one shot at this. Three is the most different, and I think, and I, there's a reason why I consider it to be my favorite of the of the trilogy, just because of how elaborate and expansive is and they don't and unlike this like this game they don't rely on uh on like just encounters up the ass oh so i fucked myself what yeah they're all grid based um up till up through uh six they're grid based and then the crystal dynamics remake kind of streamlines it i don't know i like the grid based gameplay though there's a tomb raider six Angel of Darkness. So, as I said, as I'm going to restate it, there's the trilogy, one, two, and three. Then you got uh, Last Revelation. Then you got Chronicles. Then you got Angel of Darkness. And Angel of Darkness, everybody agrees, is the worst one. Does it have a lot of a. Uh, rate each game on what degree of batshit fantasy stuff is in it? Uh. Like, on a scale of 1 to, to 10? I guess. What? Okay. This one's dealing with, like, Atlantis and ancient mummy creatures. Okay, this one is gonna... This one will probably be... Oh, shit. I, I don't... I, how do I, I don't know how to do that, because that would be... Oh. Mm. Okay, I get, I get it. You okay, don't want to, like, spoil one, one, be, one would be, like, just mundane, and 10 is, like, literally Lord of the Rings. Is that what you're trying to, to go for? I, pretty much, yeah. One okay. is just real. Real life. One is real life, ten is complete fantasy. And then none of the games would be on a ten. So that so don't expect any of them to be on a ten. Um this game probably about I would say about a seven because Okay, no, I'll take that back. About a six. With the Atlantis. The title Angel of Darkness makes me think of uh what was that what was that like CW show about angels? You remember that? CW touched by an angel? No. No, the, okay, the show about Angel is ironically enough about a vampire, if that's what you're talking about. I'm thinking of Supernatural? Yeah, you're thinking of Supernatural. Sorry, I'm getting so I'm This is my water break. Give me a sec. Uh, so, this game's a... Uh, one is a six because of the Atlantean stuff, uh, which is bi biopunk, and they don't really go heavier in that. Two's, two, I would shoot it up to about an eight. And then three is also about an eight. Or I assume about... at some point we're going to reach just like blatant magic. Because this doesn't really we, have that. We reach just ancient societies. Oh man, just wait for the next game. You're going to just wait. The next game is going to be about as blatant wizardry as you can get and then three okay, so i'm expecting something along the lines of jackie chan and then oh oh the last relation goes up to a nine 
9.5. And then um, Chronicles, uh, about a 9 as well. For for a bunch of different reasons. And then I don't know about Angel of Darkness, so I'm going to rate that a question mark. Angel sounds the most fantastical just by the title. Angel's about vampires. Oh, what do I know? It's, it's modern day. Oh, Angel of Darkness, you mean? Yeah. I, again, I don't know. All I know is that, it, is that it's semi-open world, but still grid-based. And, uh... Why'd I do that? Okay. So I'm not going up there. I'm just gonna toggle that switch down there. I think I did this before, and I just got distracted and took a water break. That could be like a Robot Chicken parody. Is games that, uh are totally ill-suited to being open world, being tried to make open world. Tetris, open world. Open okay. world Qbert, and it's just a giant screen of stairs. Stairway to Qbert. Open world Pac-Man. There's no goal, you can never collect all the dots. Every time you collect a super pellet, you hear, yeah ha ha, you found me! There should be a... Nobody's ever tried to do Pac-Man as a puzzle game. I feel like people should, should try that. Hey, what's the... I feel like I'm, there's an idea there. I'm so lost. I... I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. No! This game's a little this game's a little bit tough to stream because I can't carry a, a conversation with you <laughs> because you need all your resources to solve this puzzle shit. It did this fix the am, is it are we good? Can I can I progress? You unlocked I remember a while back you unlocked like a long underwater tunnel. You already went through that, right? Uh, I did. I <laughs> this is the point of the stream where I'm like asking the game what what do you want what what do you want from me what's the point of this room What's the Did somebody fall asleep while designing this goddamn dungeon? Jella's Tomb Raider site. I, I'm so confused. Dalrog, help me. What? What? I toggle the switch and it opens that, but it leads back to the other thing and... According to Philip Campbell, the level designer for Unfinished Business, the Atlantis levels were meant to be played before Return to Egypt, and Laura was intended to start with only the pistols. Wait, so why the fuck is this number three, then, if it's supposed to be in that order? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is supposed Don't to be the one you start with? This is how you start it? You just... <laughs> well, you can't just say that when you're the one who ordered them this way. Well, yeah, we were supposed to do it, but then, but then the publishers just... Oh, by the way, apparently there's a shortcut that goes from, like, the very start of the level straight to the end. Fuck off, really? Uh... A large room with pyramid and see-through floor. I remember that. That was the mesh. A lot of streams. No! Let me in! This is... This is the alternate universe where Laura Croft died and this is just her just coming to terms with it. We've gone from puzzle, like, relaxed, like, adventure puzzle game to survival, to literal survival horror. There's a fucking switch up here this entire time! Waiting for a pyramid head to come scraping in. 
Are you fucking kidding? Now I gotta somehow climb all the way back there? Fuck it, I'll do it. I said I'll do it. According to Darian, Angel yeah. of Darkness is trash. Yep. That was the only Tomb Raider game I've played, and I remember not even being able to progress past 10 minutes. It controls like garbage. Most reviews for that game across the board are like an average 5 out of 10. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nobody nobody liked Angel of Darkness. <laughs> well, it's okay. still made by the same studio as the first ones. Kind of. There's people, like, leaving throughout the series' life. I mean, this game was developed by one team, and then and then they got another team to uh, develop it. And then, uh... Am I supposed to get up there? Now... Okay, running jump. So, I think if I remember correctly, like, one was done by one team, and they moved it to another team with Encore for a two, and they moved it to another team with for three... And then, what the fuck? Was, oh, that was you? Huh? I, I thought I heard Laura coughing for a second. Oh, shit. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna have to, uh... Come on. Is your uh, keyboard giving any issues? It was, yeah. Alright, new plan. It's made by Core and Eidos. Yep. Well, uh, they're all gonna say they're made by Eidos, but, uh... It's gonna work. I'm gonna make this work. Nope. That didn't work. I don't know uh, how many people like, care about this, but, uh... Achievement Hunter is, uh, is ending. Oh, really? That was, it's been years, so I'm... Is they, there... They've been at it for a very long time. Yeah, everything's got to end sometime. Probably sometimes but, for the uh, best. Yeah, they've just gradually been losing people. They've been cycling out their staff for, like, ever, which is a big part of why they're losing viewers. Yeah, it makes sense. I did it! Fuck you, game! Uh, but uh, yeah, they're just ending the channel. Uh, Michael and some of the other guys are going off to do their own channel. Oh, is Michael and Gavin? Are they gonna do stuff regularly? Oh wow! Oh, this is the uh, top of that one damn. Oh god damn it! Gavin is not one of the like the regulars on that channel, but given how much how much he and Michael work together, I would guess that he'll probably make appearances or dude, something. I hope I hope they like do Twitch stuff together. They were they had great chemistry. A lot of the former Rooster Teeth Achievement Hunter guys do that. I know Jack and uh, Ray both stream. Yeah. I wonder if, like, the the channel really took a big blow after uh, after the scandal with Ryan, I think. That that was that was rough. And then, uh, and then he was gone, and then all the other guys were, like, kind of burned by it. I don't think that really had much to do with it. That was just one in a, in a chain yeah. of, of various occurrences. Most of the other ones just seemed like dumb management decisions. Yeah, fucking Rooster Teeth. Just a lot of they, they their management like was was it always bad or is it just now getting bad and we're just now seeing the? I don't know. They kind of just seemed like a bunch of dudes who we're lucky enough to get in on the ground floor of YouTube, to be honest. Yeah, shit. Fuck that again. And that's gonna kill me. Okay, let's see what I can do. I have to... I feel like I'm doing this room out of order. I'm just... I'm just winging it at this point. Uh, I mentioned when we did that one stream of Super Bunny Man that, uh, Gavin and Michael were, like, the only big two that really latched onto that game. Yeah, and then they got a special uh, shout-out at the very end. That was nice. They did. The devs gave them a specific shout-out in the end credits. That was neat. 
it was weird. Was it? I thought I thought I saw Michael like wearing like a uh, not a what would you call it like a uh, like a sleeveless shirt. Maybe I don't he's know. a Jersey boy. Yeah, it was weird seeing him with that on. Okay. I have. I this is this is the ultimate like I shouldn't be here moment. Uh. Oh boy, we doing lava? Doing more lava. I gotta do. Walk through the fire. And I will burn. So can we make the lava flow up the tunnel? Oh, see why not? God. Was that guy Nathan Explosion? Like, was he just a prototype no. Nathan Explosion? He had more of like a he had more like a, a, a whispery new metal rock guy kind of going on. Yeah, as opposed to uh, Nathan Explosion's gravelly uh, like a uh, death metal. Oh, is this is this just for ammo then? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Not even a said. secret. Not even a, the sound of a secret, like boom. Just like, just like you, you went through here, you idiot. Here, have some ammo, you dumb shit. Uh, did you ever, uh, did you ever play more Pokemon Violet? I haven't. I have to, uh, I have to unbury my Switch because I need to play that, and I need to play some more, uh, some. Uh, I need to actually play F Zero Ninety Nine, which you vehemently said. Before that, you were not going to play any more of, and then you decided to play it. I didn't say vehemently. I just I guessed that I probably wouldn't play more of it, but I was wrong. I've been playing it somewhat regularly. Yeah, They're adding more stuff to it. That's a good way to get you in. He's like, hey, I don't want to miss out. And then um, it's very mean... very slowly adding stuff, but yeah, they have a <laughs> they have five more tracks now, and one more update coming eventually. Is this another fucking dead end? Game. I don't know if they'll do any, but I kind of hope that there's some kind of balance fix because uh, right now the strategy is to just play the maximum acceleration vehicle, just book it to the front and stay there the whole race. Yeah, maybe they'll probably balance it out. By the way, that guy suicide bombed me. Oh, they can explode now. They've always been able to explode. <laughs> It's just that that one, I killed him, and then all the the, the pieces hit me at once. But it was like, it's like a, I got banana bombed by him. I, I don't get this level at all. I'm just wandering. Do I go down here? Was I supposed to be up here to begin with? What is sure my... There's a meat pit. Who am I? What is my true purpose? Why did their body parts explode on hitting the ground like it's Aqua Teen Hunger Force? <laughs> Asks Darian. Um, because it's ancient Atlantean biotech and it's proprietary so they can't let other people... You know, we were right to uh, to not do this, yes, like, uh, last time we played this game. Oh, man. To, like, try to fit, do it all in one stream? Yeah. This would this alone feels like it's going to take two hours. <laughs> this level of <laughs> Atlantean Fortress. I can't wait for Tomb Raider Unfinished Business Cubed. We're not... I'm willing to let Tomb Raider, un, like, Unfinished Business be Unfinished Business if this takes too long. There's gotta be something up here then. Oh, yeah, I missed it because it blended into everywhere else. Is this the end of the level? No, of no. course it's not. No, we're uh, up here now. Okay, so it's up. I never know how to tell because this game's levels just kind of end. Yeah, it's not really a problem that gets better with other games. Not like there's a big like uh, like. Uh, Checkered flag thing at the very end going, hey, this is the end of the level, you did it. You're down, thank you. Okay.
Will you think less of me if I get myself some more weapons uh, through an illegal black market deal? Nah, I don't give a shit. Do you think other people would? I'm not, like, I've, I'm like, I'm... Alright, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my, uh, I'm gonna call my, my, uh, my friend really quick. Give me a second. Hold on, I wanna make sure I get this. Thank... What's a good place? This is... Sorry, I need to, I need to get my, uh, my... Yeah, what you want? One sec. Yeah, uh, you want the good shit, do you? I'm getting the good shit. Give me a sec. Oh, whoops! Wait! They Was flipped the it! End? No! <laughs> did that... you just accidentally end the level? How the fuck did that work? <laughs> I did it the way they wanted me to! All right, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> I li did you type in an instant end level? I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. One, two, three, backflip. There we go. Okay, thanks, arms dealer. We're ready to go. I'm just, I'm done with the, I'm, I'm, I have no patience. I didn't sign up for survival horror. I signed up for chill adventures and my blood pressure is rising. Come on. Let's do it. You're fucked. I feel like I'm not adding a ton to this. Like this would be going about the same if you were by yourself. <laughs> well, you're here for moral support. We're, we're, we're going on, we're going on adventures together. Okay, Uzis. Oh wait, hold on. It, it something that it, it doesn't add medi packs, so I can't just like uh, summon more. Oh, now you want to just not move, fucker? All right. If you want, I could just do the rest by myself. If you don't feel like you're adding much, but I like having you here. Hello? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Or maybe, or maybe I, yeah. Besides, you don't, you don't go cave exploring alone. That's a good way to just get yourself killed. That was, why did I do that? That was very risky. What, the running jump? Oh yeah, that was, that was fucked up. I should not have done that. Also, this is like, what's what? up? Oh, you were saying something, I interrupted you. I was, I was gonna like step away for a minute. Okay, go for it. Z's. You were somehow able to add a skybox in the previous levels, and now we're here. Oh shit! God damn it! Ugh, mm. oh, that sucked. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> You know what? Actually, I'm going to uh, give me give me a moment. I'm going to add up Twitch chat so I can see. Actually, you know what? I need, I just need to restream. How'd I do that? I did it again. I did that dumbass running jump again. <sighs> okay. I wonder what Atlantean biotech is like. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if like Atlantean biotech is like from the Cruelty Squad universe. We just didn't know about it. I'm ready for you. All right, I'm back. Exploding more wildlife, I see. Yeah, I I was killing them again, but uh, then I just I died. 
Okay. Uh, we're... I feel like... I feel like you can zip up here. If that makes any sense. Then we could do a cheat and just zip up here. Maybe this is where one of the shortcuts goes. Uh... What's the fucking point? What do you want, game? Maybe it's telling that these levels were each made by, like, one person, whereas the regular game's levels were probably peer-reviewed. Peer-reviewed? This... I've... Like, okay, I've played... Uh, Tomb Raider 3 has, like, some very complicated... Okay. Oh! What? I, they like, had... does this guy just put shit in the level for no reason? Just to, like, Chekhov's gun? I don't know. I, I don't know who designed this, but this level is just so, like... Philip Campbell. Missed. Alright. Philip Campbell. What other levels did he do in one? Can you, uh, do you, are you able to uh, find that out? Okay. I know what to do. This better be how the level it. I'm gonna find out, like, he was the creative mind behind Angel of Darkness. <laughs> like he was the director. No, he wasn't. He wouldn't. He wasn't the director. I don't think. I. That has the opposite problem that this that this level has. All right. I think I can. What? Not even a running jump? I don't want the compass. They want me to go in there, but... Unfortunately, the Tomb Raider wiki lacks uh, complete data. Philip Campbell's one of the designers for Tomb Raider, has worked on the Golden Mask and the Lost Artifact, and has created 15 levels. Okay. I wonder which levels they were. That's... Did it! Yeah! Finally! That That's a tough fucking jump. Alright. So as far as you could tell, there is just stuff in this level that doesn't seem to serve any purpose. There's this... just dead-end platforming and shit. Oh, wait, we're, we're back here? That's it. We did all that just to get on the other side of this glass plane. Cool. Come on, horsey! Yeah, this level, for, this level just feels just like... This level feels self-indulgent, and I rarely use that term because I think that term is stupid. It's like the guy wanted to design a really elaborate level. It insists upon itself. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm just thinking, get to the end. Oh, here, this is the end. I recognize it from that uh, time I, I uh, glimpsed into the future about where the end is. All right, we're now halfway to our boat. Oh, God. How halfway? long did that feel like? That felt... Okay, hold on. Okay, it... Uh, no, me, don't look at how long it was. I want to ask how it, how long it felt like. Felt like two hours. <laughs> it was an hour and eight minutes. <laughs> okay. So the in-game timer wasn't too far off. That was... What? There's all the... Oh, my God. Okay, first off, let's save. I don't want to do that again. This level is called... The hive. Oh no, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight the 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 brotherhood of the hive. They're gonna fight Jenks and I don't oh, know. Oh, right. Teen Titan. Yeah. I was getting confused. I was Hello. thinking of Sphinx. 
Sphinx. Hold on. Re equip my uh, Uzis, and I'm gonna thank. I'm gonna be thankful that uh, that hopefully nobody will. What? That was a very goofy idea. A school for supervillains. Yeah, Evil X Men University. It's like it's almost like a, a you can have a villain academia, if you will, and it could be your villain academia. What? This. <laughs> I love how this level starts. You're like dodge the boulders, motherfucker. Dude, what happens? That didn't work out. All right. Uh, so, this feels like disarming a nuke. Is it just step on the step on the correct floor tiles? No, it's step on a step on a floor tile. That's because the trigger isn't where I step. The trigger is gonna be. See, look, look. Here's what I do. It is where I step. Fuck off. This looks like be like one of those types of like temple trap rooms. Yeah, it totally feels like that. Okay, what if what if I go over here? What happens? Okay, I got it. I have a plan. Yeah! Acrobatics! Motherfucker! Yeah. I should have planned that better. <laughs> so this is presumably a safe path. Uh, I mean, it's the only path. Like, like, it's either that or I somehow, or I convince these two to, like, do it for me. And she's strafe. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Laura, why are you so bad at strafing? Well, okay, this is how she, this is the other way she could strafe. But the that problem, seems more effective. But the problem is, if I do that, I'd be hitting another trigger. Oh no! Wait. Just like back and forth, right? Yeah, I could. Look at those giant meatballs! Giant meatballs, Luigi. Wait, what? Why'd you go? We're saving every... I'm gonna hit 100 in a 4 level... Okay, that's gotta be safe then. I'm, I'm looking at some weird fucking, like, algebraic grid. For how to get across this floor safely <laughs> in the walkthrough. I don't need it. I don't need that. You kidding me? Okay, so that. Come on, buddy. We're gonna fight. All right, and let me pull out my big guns. Is he missing you, or are you just out damaging him? I was out damaging him. That guy is. That guy's. Oh, that's all lava. Okay. Uh. Is so, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I think this level is gonna be better than the last one. The last one made no fucking sense. I felt lost just going through. Oh wow! You liked the the cat one at least for the novelty of being outside. I like the cat one. The cat one felt like I was I, the progress like felt better. And the the enemy count notwithstanding, but Atlantean stronghold was just felt like a slog. Like, nothing seemed to be leading anywhere. There was no real good sign post posting. I did not like that level at all. Oh. It's the dead Again, end? Nah, you don't even get the se a secret noise. Yeah, just have some goodies. Uh, nothing? Nope. Okay. Can 
music. Sh shut up, please! Alright. You ready? Speaking of loud, intrusive music, City Skylines 2, out now. What was the... What was up with the I'm... loud, intrusive music with Skitty Skylights? Oh, I don't remember if you... I, we played the game, like, twice. Uh, like, everyone who plays that game kind of reacts to the same way. And because it's got, like, this really loud, sweeping, heroic music that just bursts in. Oh, oh! When you're just doing normal city building stuff. So, why did you tell me the same person that did, uh, that did, uh, Multiverses did the soundtrack for that game? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Okay, this, this feels more dangerous, therefore, it's probably the way I need to go. Oh, can she. Can, can she crawl? Is that in her skill set? Uh, that's not for. That's not for another two games. But it is. She. She gets her knees fixed from all that, uh. From all that flipping and shit. Well, the good news is, uh, we've. This feels more linear. Uh oh. Do you have to do it backwards, Lara? Oh, I'm dead. Unless. <gasps> Did they really expect Ninja you to do that? Warrior shit? Well, now what? I did it! <laughs> Oh, that one's, that one's <laughs> I don't know if that was intended, but I did it! It Hello. looks like it was designed for that. Yeah, that was fun. I like I, that. I like that. That was inventive. What? No! Game! Yeah, like a Windows noise? Uh, no, it was telling me to update my uh, driver, and I'm like, I'm in the middle of streaming, game. Here. 1997's Tomb Raider, now with ray tracing. They, I mean, that might, is that a thing with the remade graphics, though? Maybe. What game did I see someone did? It was Ocarina of Time with ray tracing now exists. Why do people want to staple ray tracing on everything? It does look better than the original. Okay. But probably not by enough well, to be worth the effort. Well, but... there you go. Somebody was like trying to do ray tracing and it literally blew up their computer. Oh, is yeah. that another fucking... Get real tired of these assholes. <sighs> Still haven't done it, but I was thinking of doing that, uh, that demo of someone was remaking Ocarina of Time in Unity. Have you seen that? Uh... Why Unity now? I would trust Unity ever again after the shit they pulled. No, I haven't seen it. Is that... Does it look good? Uh... It looks good when nothing is moving. <laughs> okay. That's all I need to know. I hope, I hope they're able to fix those issues. I thought people were trying to do the same thing, but in Unreal. Maybe it's maybe it's unreal. I think it's unreal. Cause Unity. What? Okay. Well, I gotta get over there now, I guess. All right. So here. Good. I thought I really thought I was gonna beef it. Okay. And here. And no, fuck you! Damn it! All right, I gotta do that again. Shit. Oh, was it on like a timer? I it was either on a timer or I think it was probably on a timer. So one, two, run and jump, run. And... No, let's do a regular jump. Nope, that killed me. Well, I'm on a timer. I better hurry. <laughs> Very loud fire sound effect. 
Yeah, jump scare fire. As if you're as if you literally just became a furnace. Does it look at me enough or am I Okay. Run and jump. Oh come on. You know what? I'm gonna reset the timer. Was there a lot of lava in the Atlantis levels? I don't remember. There was, yeah. There was. That combined with the heartbeat really just fucked with me. Alright, I'm gonna tone it down a little bit on my end. I'm getting kind of a headache, but I want to finish this game. So, let's speed run this jump. Running jump. Turn. Stop. Running jump. Lara, please. Wow. That is tight as fuck. Okay. Uh. Try doing it at a slight angle. Maybe that'll, uh. Nope, just barely missed. This is a really tough. I feel like this is a secret. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wonder if. I'm gonna try it. I think it. you can make a running jump from there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, that was actually kind of clever. Good job. Oh, that looks uh, creepy. Green egg. Another green egg. Now it's a beholder. Now it's the planet Earth. Now it's a Tide Pod. Let's eat it. Note, do not eat Tide Pods. No, don't. That... God. And people just say kids are fucking dumb, and I'm like, yeah! I was a kid once, I was, a, I was fucking dumb. That, okay, so that's not a death pit. No, I don't trust it, though. Like, it's you. God, just good old-fashioned, like, platform climbing. I don't have to fight, like, enemies every 50 fucking... Till those eggs hatch. Yeah, but I'm ready. Okay. It just goes back out again? I'm guessing, due to the way the grid system is, that it's necessary. I guess I can climb up here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, what do you want me? <laughs> Game, what? Or. Wait, what? I li what was that sound? Okay, you know what? Okay. The walkthrough lists different options for if you entered through the door on the right or the door on the left. So. Those both seem to just be entrances. Is the switch just for if you need to get out again? Like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this is just a pit. What the fuck? All right. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, I'd rather it be meat than lava. Okay, I can't climb up there. I'm up this way, then. Dude. Can you do me a favor? What? Can you go on to a chat GPT and ask it to generate a, uh, a child between Lara Croft and the Prince of Persia? I I'm curious now what, what like, 
but the the AI thinks that that a child between them would. Chat GPT <laughs> image generator. Yeah, this site that... cannot be reached. Not an image generator. I just I just want like textual information. Am I oh, trapped okay. here? Is this a, is this is this the pit of despair? Hope I'm not just trapped here. Be pretty bad level design if there was just a pit you could soft lock yourself in. There's only one example of like a soft lock in the game, and because oh, I can't climb. Wait, I'm thinking about this all wrong. Uh. Okay, I got an idea. That's but that's too fucking steep, and I can't go over there. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another weird jump onto that onto that area. Oh shit! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's a little abrupt. A little. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I I have to create a Chat GPT account. You can link your Google account with it. <laughs> Oh no! <sighs> Fucking shit! The Tomb Raider remasters look like they jumped from PS1 graphics to PS2 graphics, says Darian. You know, that's fine. It's a remaster, it's not it's supposed to be triple A. I did show Jack the the Disney mobile game. Oh yeah, Twisted with Wonderland. The yeah, where the characters are like anime pretty boys. Yeah, I, I knew they were making. It's very bizarre to me that that would be in a like an official Disney sponsored thing. Isn't it like ja like Japanese only or something? Is like made for the mm -hmm. Japanese market. Guess I'm heading up there. <laughs> Fucking. I go this eggs. You know they're coming. You know they're gonna explode. And then every time it, they do, it, like, takes you by surprise. hate that I fall for it every single time. Nope. Okay. Then I'll backflip. And it'll take me over there. Motherfucker. Oh, there is lava. Oh, Jack, I, I can't, I can't verify the account without a phone number. Then don't bother. I'll do it myself some other time. <laughs> oh, I just realized why you said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You want to give your personal phone? Then I'm like, you don't have a phone. Shit. <laughs> okay, I have this other thing called narrative device. It's 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 older. It uh, you type in two things and then it creates a combination of the things. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, do I'm that. To type we'll, in we'll make this Laura we'll make this, Croft. We'll make this an AI stream. As well. Prince of Persia. Generate. Wait, why am I going over here? This is not where I should be going. This is... All right. What? What did? What, what's the? Uh... Who is? It needs my email to generate tokens. Well, you have, that's easier accessibility, I think. And uh, when I try to send it, the tokens to my email, there's an internal server error. Oh, there, got a server outage. The plague continues. Shit, that almost killed me. Really, it's your fault for asking me to do any of this. <laughs> okay, I was going to send you to novel AI, but, uh, but I don't want you fucking that up, too. I crashed the site. 
You crashed? Well, you crashed narrative device? No, I'm joking. I would okay. crash the site if you sent okay. me to novel AI. I, I thought you said, I crashed the site. Okay. Uh... You know what we can do to make these less scary? We can have like a balloon pop sound effect. And then that stock sound effect of the kid shouting, Yay! <laughs> just play, just play like, uh, like some, uh, some happy, like hippie power music. Just, uh, just constantly. <sighs> or just the uh, relaxo vision music from, uh, from Freakazoid. What okay. kind of music do you think Lara Croft listens to? She's British. It's the night, and this is the '90s. So, I want to say like uh, she she listens to like Britpop, like '90s Britpop, like uh, Iggy Pop and uh, Chumbawamba. Oh, that's lava death. I'm getting knocked down. But I get up, up again. again. They're never gonna get me down. You realize those guys were originally like like uh, like heavy punks. They were like apparently uh, like they participated in a compilation album like uh like just trashing the British like label EMI. And the late and the and the album was called Fuck EMI. <laughs> yeah, uh Jeff Achievement Hunter has told stories. He's a big like punk music fan. He's talked about how like one of his favorite anti establishment punk bands, like the members of that became this band, became that band, became Chumbawamba, and he fucking hates Chumbawamba. <laughs> he hates Chumbawamba? I mean, yeah. he should look at himself in the mirror because Chumbawamba is all of us. You know what's funny about Chumbawamba is that they did their famous, like, uh, like song Tub Thumping as, like, an experiment about on selling out, and then they agreed they were never going to sell out again because their experiment was, like, like, ran its course. That was, like, their most successful song. Yeah, but they were around. They were around for like two decades, so it's not like right. But I mean, that's the song that you're saying they made to like appeal to masses. Yeah, because he they did so they did an album called Fuck EMI, and then and then they uh, they released. Then EMI came to them like saying, "Hey, your work is pretty good. You want to work for us?" And they were just like, "You know what? Yeah, fuck it. We can we can, we can do that. Come on." Yeah. <laughs> Not attacking you, his, his oh, no. geometry is just kind of bopping your head down every now and again. This is this is the uh, the hardest boss battle I've ever encountered. It's the hardest. Okay, that was. I don't know what happened there. Okay, good. Uh, so then, yeah. Has there, has there been a stand named Chumbawamba? No, I was there. I don't remember. What would that stand even be? I don't know enough about Chumbawamba to know. Uh, again, you wouldn't ever know enough about Chumbawamba <sighs> to know. The stand stand Chumbawamba on Tumblr. Okay, this is fan art. Yeah. So, so the answer is no. There hasn't been. Uh. Next! Get, get, get out from that pillar, I need to... There we go. God, that... That was awful. Have an easier time having a band called Tub Thumper. With some overly specific ability involving bathtubs. The song Tub Thumping is about, like, getting, like, drunk at a bar. Uh while watching football uh, like english football not american football so why is yeah. it called fucking tub thumping i never really got that i think it was just them being cheeky maybe they're watching it in a bathtub and they're drunk and then they just are like i i get i get knocked down on my tub but i get up again fuck you they had like what is uh their album had like a lot of like really creatively named albums and one was called what you see is what you get and then another one okay good that i can't believe that worked oh look there's a guy up there he's like 
You dare approach me? Is it weird that I sometimes get uh, tub thumping mentally mixed up with uh... what's the Talking Head song? Uh, with the one that's what is that Talking Head song? As the days go by. Oh, this is not my beautiful house. You're not my beautiful wife. Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, you know that that has as much to do with the person thumping in a tub as the actual song Tub Thumping, so... I guess I'm guessing... Same I guess as it ever was. Well, the songs are different enough. Oh, it's a... Yeah. I, they have similar subject matters, I suppose. Look, he's so majestic, just waiting for you up here. Yeah. I think somebody's done fan art of these two. Of Lara Croft and the centaur flesh thing? Yeah, or just... Is Never mind. Here we go, we're fighting! Do they get actual horses to, like... Is this level over? No, there's more. Okay, I'm on the other side of here. Are you still there? Uh, going to disappoint you to know there are no, there is no Rule 34 tag for Atlantean Centaur. <laughs> uh, yeah, because they're horrifying. They're not. <sighs> but then again, like I've like there's people have made like stuff for Silent Hill. So there were I think I remember a previous stream I looked it up there were like three images for Lara's meat doppelganger or whatever yeah I feel like it's just the other le the it, the hive is just fucking the great pyramid but in reverse again there's a section called cave with lake and pyramid like structure like structure. If this game doesn't end with us fucking killing Natla again, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I don't think a DLC, a, an expansion level, is gonna have a boss. Is Darian still in chat? I wanna ask him. Uh... Your guy's mic is cutting in and out. Is it just me or is it Jack as well? Oh no. Because if it's both, it might be a. Uh... If it's both of us, then that would mean it's, uh, it's Jack's internet. Shit. That's Which is fine. Good. We'll still have the full recording. Yeah. I should probably... I, I, I didn't switch it back to the primary access point. Getting Comcast soon, like in a few weeks, so that'll be fine. That'll be nice when I finally get proper internet again. Game Audio 2. Okay, so the, the stream as a whole is cutting out. Yeah. Um, I'm Which not would mean it would be Jack's internet. Yeah, we're almost done with this. We'll, we got the recording still. Where's my Uzi ammo? Got enough. Uh, remind me to look at your your uh, bit rate after this. Okay. What the fuck? More are you? fighting all of them just an infinite supply of these like of these flesh pit monsters Shit. Mm. i was gonna say like uh like uh two like a uh, castlevania 2's plot is that they were trying to build uh they were trying to resurrect dracula so they can kill him again i think that was the uh gist of it i got ow Hello? Yeah. No, I heard you. Yeah, I just, uh, I was thinking, like, what if we're trying to rebuild Natla so we can kill her again properly this time? That doesn't seem like it would be necessary for someone like her. What, just, uh, in general? Just, like... Yeah, I don't think she's, like, a Dracula or a, or a Lavos. I don't think we're, we're that worried about <laughs> Natla. A Lavos! Go from go from a slightly more powerful vampire than average to Lavos, literal world-ending creature. 
Well, okay, in the context of Castlevania, Dracula is like Super Satan. Well... Yeah... Darian says, what were you gonna ask him? Oh, uh, is that the plot of uh, Castlevania 2? Is that they were uh, trying to resurrect uh, Dracula so they could kill him again? Why is he Simon was a... What? what? What's up? Go on. Sorry. Simon was affected by Dracula's curse, and he was slowly dying over the course of the game. The only way to get rid of it was to resurrect Dracula and kill him. Oh, oh okay. So it was for personal <sighs> reasons. It's not because, like, we need to do this to put an end to Dracula. We need to do this because... I love, I love for somebody to do... That's, like, the plot of a game. Somebody tries to do it out of spite. Like, somebody else managed to kill, like, the big bad. And so the whole quest is just you trying to revive him so you could kill him personally. <laughs> Ima fucking imagine. Vegeta wishes Frieza back to life so that he can kill him. That that would be that would be a fun like mini arc, and he succeeds too, but he still doesn't feel satisfaction. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Vegeta. I just went to work out for four months, and now I'm more powerful than you. <laughs> he still he still was able to like best him, almost. It was only because he was like. He was like very prideful that like he let the earth get destroyed. Okay, what did this? Why did this require two? Why is the music being like it is? What's going on? I'm scared. Oh, this feels like a boss arena. Is it Natla? Is she back? Oh no, it's just two centaurs. Triple strafe. The only, like, uh, boss boss was that one thing at the very end, the giant flesh creature. No, that low was another boss. Yeah, okay, I guess there were dudes with guns that count as bosses. Yeah, there were, there were three dudes with guns. <sighs> five, sorry, five dudes with guns. Uh, Tomb Raider 3 definitely has, like, more bosses. And uh, Tomb Raider 2, I think, has at least one boss. Yeah, uh... Apparently in the manga, Frieza gets another, like, absurd, unwarranted power boost. Yeah, that after was... After the Golden Frieza one. Yeah, I heard of it. It's Black Frieza, right? <laughs> nah. I'm just gonna hit all the switches and just kill whatever shows up. This feels more linear than the other one, at least. So. Alright. Come at me, you aliens! I guess I'm going up here. The only thing about the recording is that I'm probably still going to be very choppy because of the uh You sound, you sound thing. fine to me. Okay. As yeah. long as I come through fully to you, that'll come through on the recording. Yeah, you sound fine to me. That's why I was like surprised, because I. Oh my god. I feel like I, this has become just like a really just bizarre shooter to me. Yeah. Just like so many. Yeah. All right. Were you? Uh, I heard some. We so we watched Dragon Ball Superhero. Yeah. I heard some people were disappointed with Cell Max just because, you know, he's just a big mindless monster. It's yeah. not really Cell again. Yeah, imagine Cell, Cell, Cell Max looking like that, having the personality of Cell. I wasn't really ever so attached to Cell that I needed him to revive or anything. I don't like that Frieza came back. I like Cell Max was was funny because it was just it was just holy and holy. Yeah, you can't get me. Oh fuck! These guys don't go down easy. Are they ever gonna run out of gumballs to throw at you? Shit! 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 I feel like they want it to be, like, cool energy blasts. Like, those are supposed to be Saros. Unfortunately, it's on the PS1. PS1 DOS, yeah. 
good handle of technology. I wonder what the remastered one of those would look like. They don't set people on fire, so that's gonna be the real tell. Sorry, no, they're red. They're uh, they're balas. Bala. Okay, there's two switches down here. Is one gonna lead to the cup of life, and the other gonna lead to the cup of death. Okay, so that opens that. What does this one do? Oh, you open the mini bar. The mini bar? Well, there's two paths, huh? Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, fuck off. What does this do? Oh, did that shut me in? No, it didn't. If anything, it probably, it probably helped me out. Alright, I'm guessing the other way is the way to go. Okay, let's go. If this level, if this game just fucking ends... Wait, what? It's just more supplies? Neither was the right way to go? Can't keep doing this to me, unfinished business! Now they're gonna keep Freeze around forever because he can just exponentially increase his power on a whim. Is he, like, doing anything? Is there any, like, story going on with Frieza? Is he rebuilding his pirate empire? I think he's just content to be, to be like, uh, Goku's kind of, sort of like rival Vegeta's graduated to friend so he's he's not really like a ri rival material anymore he's become more of a rival than ever I think with uh, the way they both train under Whis and such yeah if anything he wasn't really considered much of a rival in Z yeah he was just straight up villain character Okay. Well, no, he was he was like attempting to be a rival, but Goku never like Goku was always ahead of him. Yeah, but now they're like kind of sort of consistent. And Vegeta wasn't really a force in Z pushing Goku to get stronger. He was just there, trying to keep up and failing. Okay, so game, what do you want me to do? Whereas we've had, like, at least very brief points in Super where Vegeta does get ahead of Goku. I'm guessing it's somewhere in this uh, fucking room. This is where I need to go. Yeah, uh... Oh, man. Oh, more health. Nice, uh, claustrophobic underwater. Oh, yeah, this would, this would really trigger my mom. She does not like claustrophobia at all. Oh, it was down here. I just missed it. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? There's, sorry, there's more dudes with guns? Oh no, that's the Atlantean. Yeah, that's Atlantean tech. Is this the same room I was in earlier? This feels like that room again. But with another guy spawned. Okay, this level's not as bad as the last one, but I'm still getting like confused really easily by where I'm supposed to be going. These are very large levels. Oh, this is a different room. I think... Is this a different room? I don't know. Okay. This is just gonna lead to. Oh, I've been here before. This is yeah. This is where all those fucking oot that all that Uzi ammo was. Oh, I can just recover like that. I forgot about that. Good, good to uh, hack. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna kill you now.
Is that where I need to go now? No, because I went under there, so... No, there's nothing up there! How'd you even get there, you... Yeah, you got. I imagine you don't have much to say. Uh, no. Yeah, I figured. Uh... In are we inside the stone structure? I. This is a stone structure. I don't know if it's the stone structure. Oh, there's a. There's a sec. There seems to be a second way. So we double backed here, and I guess that opened up over there. No. Yes? No. I ate too much Burger King. Do you have, like, thumbs at your side, like me? Room with square pillars and standing mutants. Is oh. that this room? I think, yeah, it's this room. Are, are there standing mutants? Uh... I killed two... I was, this is the room with the two centaurs. Well, there are four pillars. Apologies, the music's going ape shit. I'm having to, uh... Okay, here we are. So there's four switches. Yep, and on I toggled the them all. Pillars. You did those. Yep, and then there's two switches down there. I did them both. Enter the glassed-in room through either gold door. Yep, and I killed the three uh, three uh, opponents. Jump into the water. Pull two levers to open underwater doors. Yep. There's another lever here, which opens another underwater door. Yep, and then I go there, and it goes to the back to the... Uh... Merge back at the lake in the previous area. Yep. Swim to the northwest corner of the lake. The northwest corner. Okay. Oh, hey, I, have to, I get to use my compass. Near the wide opening with the tiered fleshy ledges. Um... Okay. So... That makes... That, that is so weird. Okay, so... So from that lake, you're trying to get inside the stone structure. So, um... You said, you said northeast uh, corner? Northwest. Northwest. Okay, so... Is it this corner? Okay, so it's this... With the sand over there. That, that one? Okay. Yeah, you're facing northwest. Alright, so I gotta go over there. What? Wait. Wait a minute. Yes, yeah, oh. this corner. Can't climb up here, so I'm gonna have to... Well, you're not in the corner yet. Oh. Yeah, I've been here before. What uh, What do they want me to do now? Okay, tiered fleshy ledges. Uh, climb out at the base of the sloping walkway. Turn right where the tan stone structure connects to the walkway. Uh, here? It says there's oozy clips near the entrance. Yeah. Where I... you climb inside a stone structure. Inside? So something is opened here. I, I don't see anything. Wait. No. Well, if the guide says it's here, then, then it's here. I'm going to explore around this area a little bit. I thought stone structure would refer to refer to that big thing like in the middle of the room.
Is there a way to get inside that? Looks like it. I give it a shot. Hmm. I mean, theoretically. Oh, hold on. I know what I could do. Up here. And then here. Run. This is the path they were talking about. Seems like it. Those are mag clips, though. Well, not onto the onto the structure. I mean. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just checking. Oh, okay, because one of those opened up a structure, like a door up there. I get it. I understand now. All right, I'm gonna save here. Look down. I guess we're still climbing? Yeah, better keep climbing. We're gonna see Nat Law on her throne and then we're gonna shoot her and then she's gonna scream again. And we'll be like, business finished. <laughs> And then she puts on her sunglasses that she took off in the first game and goes, yeah! She drives away listening to British pop, British pop rock. His lust for life starts playing. Hello! Why'd you run? Good, wow, it's a good thing I grabbed all those medical packs. Okay, uh... Man, it was serendipitous timing that, uh... Okay, good, that didn't kill me. I should warn you, it sounds like there's an orgy of enemies coming up. An orgy of enemies. <laughs> I, love, I love you that you put it like that. An orgy of enemies. A good quantification. It tells yeah. you how many there might be. I, I'm reminded of that scene in Minority Report where uh, where a guy walks in and there's like a bunch of like incriminating photos and like a ton of it. Just like there's like hundreds upon hundreds of like of like incriminating evidence on like the bed. And he's like, wow, are you sure this guy sure was like uh, like an evil person. And then the detective looks and is like, you idiot. This is an orgy of evidence. This never happens. Okay. Oh yeah. Come on. Let's... It's a lot of dudes standing around. <laughs> this you know, is being dead. Come on, let's have a throwdown, guys. No. They don't animate yet, so you can safely walk around the room, avoiding the lava pits, of course. All right. I'm ready. I said I'm ready. So, it sounds like they'll activate once you pick up all four of those. Are you? <sighs> you could pick up three safely. Two. Come on. Come on! You guys are all cowards. Did you oh, save go. before coming in here? I did, but uh, I'll say I'll make another one. Oh shit! <laughs> so I think once you pick up all the things, certain squares on the floor activate them. Or activate certain ones. Oh. So it's kind of like the boulder. In other words, you should try to move around as little as possible. Well, too late for that. I've already triggered all of them. By the time you saved? Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm over here now. This isn't too far back. 
<laughs> this game. This game is ridiculous. So it sounds like my best move is uh, is yeah. So pick Wait, what? After you... That one triggered it. Was that just a cutscene? Or are they active now? Uh I mean you could save. They won't activate until you actually step on a four it's fine. I, I gotta say I gotta save pretty close by. Alright. Is this a step? Here? Now are they actually active or are they not active until you pick up all four? The music's going ape shit. I, yep, they're active. I agree, it'd be weird if they weren't. Next! Who's that? Who's ready to fight? No? Am I the only man in this... Am I the only badass in this fucking room? Come on! So the, the trigger panels are generally in the four corners. Okay. Next. Okay, two more. Oh, three more. All right. Let me get back up to the uh, fuckers. Okay. That explains a lot. What's in this room? Is that room? Oh, this one won't unlock. Also. If you try to leave the way you came, it activates all of them. <laughs> I love this game. Don't step out for a breather. Uh-uh. Okay. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna overwrite the other one. Oh, we good. Okay. What a weird way to handle a trigger. It'd be more reliable if you just put one up there instead of four. This game is weird. Whoa! Oh yeah, I figured that one. Oh, another one. I'm just kind of lurching around. You rang. I understood that reference. I got it, I got their reference. That's the only cultural contribution the Avengers has had that's, like, actually funny. What, the Avengers? That was from the Avengers, yeah. I understood that reference, they... Oh. I thought you were talking about the Lurch, the, the, the butler from the yeah, monsters. Yeah, I was, but then your response was like, was like, you rang, and that, or your response was an Avengers reference. Oh, no, I wasn't aware of that. Well, okay, then it's a shit. Then Avengers is a is accidental reference. Accident. Better. You know what? Better an accidental reference than other accidental things. Uh, not the monsters. The Adam family. Yeah. The in the, in yeah, the monsters, right. the Frankenstein sign was the dad. It was Eddie Munster. God. Did they have a crossover? I don't think so. I think the monsters. Did the monsters come first or the Adams come first? Uh. Adams came first, and then Monsters was like kind of like a clone that worked. <sighs> All right, get out of your thing. We're gonna have to throw down. This feels like this, this feels like the Plutonia experiments of Tomb Raider. What do you What you find out? Uh. Well, the comics were originally published in 1938. Adam's Family TV show was 1964. Monsters was also 1964. Wow, they work fast. Maybe it's coincidence. Happens. Yeah, it happens. Remember when everyone freaked out because of Bugs Life and Ants released like within a year of each other? Yeah, and you know what? Bugs Life is, is the superior movie, I think. I remember very little of Ants. It's, uh, it was the one with Woody Allen. 
remember being a lot more adult than Bugs Life. Yeah, because because Woody Allen is a very adult actor, and uh, I don't. What are those? Was two it Stallone? Switches? One of them, or was it? Uh, was it Sylvester Stallone? Was the was the alpha ant and the the assault the uh, soldier ant, and then the yeah, other guy was the worker ant. All right, we're fighting. Let's go. Oh, that's right. Ants was DreamWorks. What was DreamWorks? if that was their first 3D movie? It was certainly indicative of like their uh, their, their uh, writing style. It was Stallone. Come on, what are you bitching about? Dan Aykroyd. Wait, Christopher Walken. Wow, that's an all-star cast. They made it big with Prince of Egypt. Are we not fighting anymore, guys? Okay, thank you. Oh shit, I triggered two and I lost. That's not gonna be good. You know, at least they're the flying types. The flying types are not as problematic. Yeah, are we done? Can I go now? No? I killed them all! What are you talking about? Oh, it reset. I get it. Okay. So what? What DreamWorks did a lot of things. Uh, they did. They were one of the many studios trying to compete with Disney, who kind of had a had a monopoly on like, family off. animated movies. Not you. Not you. Um, I just saw the amount of enemies. And I'm just like, oh fuck. Like, them and Don Bluth were the big attempts. And DreamWorks was doing it for a while. They had uh, substantial 2D movies. Then they went 3D, and uh, much like Disney, never went back. Yeah. It's, it's easier, I think. Is it there? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there's is nothing in there. There's, no, there's nothing in, in any of them. They're all failures. They're all rejects. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. There's a second floor. What are, what are some other 2D works? Uh, 2D DreamWorks movies were Prince of Egypt, uh, oh, yeah. the straight to video Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat, which uh, failed and they never did straight to video again. <laughs> it's just like, whoa, what the f <laughs> Just picture like a bunch of their, uh, their like production staff going, the oh, fuck, why did we do that? That was dumb. We're never doing that uh, again. Road to El Dorado. Good movie. Uh, and Spir Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. Never seen that. I saw it recently. It was okay. Not as good as uh, El Dorado or Prince of Egypt. I'm also noticing that uh, that a lot of that it's a lot of those movies are kind of have a very very different tone than like Shrek did. I guess. They were always a little bit edgier, a little bit more adult than Disney was. Yeah, fair enough. Not to maybe like a cynical, sarcastic degree of like Shrek, but there, there was always a little bit of that in DreamWorks. Yeah. Uh, Sinbad was also DreamWorks, which we never got I've, around to watching. I've never it. seen that. I, I wanted to when I was a kid, but it looked pretty neat. It's alright. It, it's, it's pretty good. So I would probably say Sinbad is my second favorite. Yeah. Prince of Egypt, El Dorado, and Sinbad are all pretty good. What the fuck? Are you seeing this shit? What? Thing hatched, and... And it's... Oh, it's Laura's ass! Does it look weird? It looks like all the other ones. No! Oh, the... Polygons? The polygon hatched in its Laura's <laughs> rear end. Okay. <laughs> Can I pick it up? <laughs> oh. I'm taking this with me. That's a weird ass glitch. Literally. The weird ass. Wait, wait. Oh! It happened again over here! Look! 
Uh, what? Did it happen again over there too? You yeah, I did again! Like, you think that's something like Roddy Tops would do? Just hide her ass for someone to find. I... Troll Shantae. God. Stop fucking cloning! That's what, this is the unfinished business. She needs to stop them from making unauthorized sex toys of her. I killed Notla, but I have to stop her operation. This is fucking weird. <laughs> Damn it. Where's my royalties? I didn't sign off on this. <laughs> just, can you imagine that? That's like a Venture Brothers operation. Just, we need to shut down the sex toy factory. Kids, stay inside. Brock will handle this. Aww. I think they make something called flashlights. That's stupid. Why would they need a whole factory just for flashlights? Yay, I did it. I guess. I don't- I feel like I did nothing. That is weird. Oh, that's it. Dead. We okay. did it. Well, we, uh, you, you destroyed the hive. You st put a stop to the Laura Croft, Laura Croft ass cloning program. And, and uh, I guess we just left. Yeah, the guy. Time to go home. The end. On our boat. <laughs> uh, yes, new all you need. You need Campbell. lens flare and some uh, lens flare and aerial font. Bill Campbell, Rebecca Sheeran, programming. Yep. Graphics. Yep. Well, the, the unfinished business is now finished. You've now played all of the non-fan-made content for Tomb Raider 1. How yeah. do you feel? Uh, I feel accomplished, you feel actually. feel accomplished? I do. That, uh, the hive got significant. The, the Shadow of the Cat stuff was, was, was alright. Uh, the fucking Atlantean Fortress was rough, and then the hive was kind of somewhere in the middle. But I like the original uh, one's levels better, because I feel like they flowed better. Yeah. So even the ones that were, like, kind of, like, out, they had, like, you know, get these four items. Uh, what do you think, which level do you think would have been your favorite level had you been playing out of the original, and I guess this one? I, d I don't remember them well enough. I get maybe the outside one. Uh, I mean, I, I think I think mine is Palace Midas is, is my favorite. I think that was yeah. the one they put a lot of love in. Uh, Tomb Raider 2? Yeah, that'll come soon. I don't know if you're going to join me for that one. You seemed like you were kind of, like, struggling with things at the very end of this, so... We'll I might... see. Um, no stream on my end tomorrow. I am going to a wrestling show! I'm going to AEW, uh, uh, Wrestle Dream. So that's going to be fun. We'll see if I have the chance to do anything, or if I'm just busy fixing my phone all day. Yeah, sorry about your phone. <laughs> Shit. All right. All well, right. that was Tomb Raider. We'll uh, probably, if we don't do, if I don't do something this week, we'll probably come back next Wait, weekend. Hold on one second, I need to. There we go. It's, it's probably come back next weekend and do more like Breath of the Wild or something. Yeah, more. That'd be cool. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, have you been playing that off stream? Uh, a little bit. I've been filling out the map a bit. Yeah. Have you accidentally stumbled upon like? Uh, Any uh, quest-related stuff? I don't think so. There was the gliding guy. Yeah. That was about it. Cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time.